Hello and welcome back with an RSPS video and today we're back on Exora RSPS and today boys we are gonna be continuing the lovely one build old school runescape GP grinds on See, I'm gonna show you the list in a second what tasks we have to do to uh, win the next beautiful task Today we have a lot of grind ahead of us, two hours of grind in total, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode If you guys like sign up for the 250 credits giveaway make sure to like the video comment and give me a normal and be subscribed to my channel if you guys want to check out this super unique server then definitely make sure to do so there's currently 110 players online figure on 150 or so and tomorrow or monday we're going to be showcasing a brand new update that you guys released a massive custom update and stay tuned for that one and i would say let's get right into it so this series right here is based on one build screen screen and prizes we have a bunch of different tasks we have to go ahead and complete before the other YouTubers stay. The next one we're going to be farming and focusing on today's episode is going to be the first to tight the Forge True Feather Foe Bow. In order to do that, we need to get one of these Feather Foe Bows. I've tried last week for two hours, but didn't get lucky. Hopefully, we will do this week. Let's get right into it. All right, the next episode starting right here. The timer is saying seven hours and two minutes. So we're going to go all the way till nine hours uh, playtime. We're going to continue, obviously, the Feather Foe Ball grind. Any other globals that will be appearing, obviously, we're going to farm as well. But we're not going to start wasting any more time. We're going to get right into the lovely grinds. But before we teleport to the cave, we'll go ahead and check the daily uh, lovely login rewards. We can go ahead and roll it. Oh, okay. We got a book of wealth. I have no idea how OP that is, honestly. We're definitely going to use it, though. That is going to give us 10 minutes of increased drop rate. That's perfect. Okay, let's go and get the fucking feather for both, then, I guess. So this is pretty much where we started last time. We've uh, killed probably 250... In the entire episode, I hope we're not going to be spending the entire episode getting a feather for a bow today. Otherwise, I'd be pretty sad. I have to get it because that's one of the big, big things we need to grind as you saw on the list. And uh, yeah, we will have to go ahead and do it. We have our little imp as well that is doing a good amount of damage as well. We have increased drop rate. Hopefully, we'll be able to get the freaking bow. So if we check the collection log in the quest tab, you guys will be seen in Monsters. God damn it. I'm wasting so much time right now. There we go. Celestial Fog. Fox right there. We got five stuff. We need the fucking bow. That's what we're trying to do right now. We're not trying to get another six stuff. We're gonna definitely get the feather for bow. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna try and do. Nothing else besides that one. Hopefully we will see it. I'll probably see you probably like after, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes. If we, if I not see you, then, uh, well, then I have rage quitted. Let's go. We just get the fucking first drop on the second KC. That is a freaking cape. Number nine. Absolute fucking mental. So, the first trip is completed. We are in right now for roughly like 12 minutes or so. We got a chest we're going to be opening. Ooh, episode whip. Okay, nothing too insane, but we'll definitely get it anyway. We got some really nice upgrades last week, so I'm really happy about that. As you can see, like, gear wise, we're doing pretty amazing. Just the RNG is really bad. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bank everything right now, and then we'll go back farming the Celestial ones. Let's go. Next sort of unique one, I guess Dragon SQ Shield. Drop rate for that one is 1 in 172. We still want the fucking bow. It's 1 in 391. We're at 280 KC right now. So I, I guess it's okay-ish. But it's sad to think that we got the fucking plate legs, which are almost the same rarity. It is okay. It is okay. Let's keep farming. Look at that. We got another stuff, dude. Another celestial stuff. Yeah, I'm being trolled right now, dude. I'm really being trolled. Another fucking stuff coming in, dude. Why on earth is this happening to me? I'm literally fucking cursed, dude. I swear to God. So, we're gonna go and test out the faceless event. Since we are not lucky here, maybe we get lucky on the event. So, there is a um, boss gonna be spawning whatsoever. I don't really know how it works, actually. But as you can see, a lot of fucking people participating here. That's actually fucking crazy. And, um, yeah. We will go in in a second. So, I think the portal just opened. Everybody's going in. Protection magic on as well. Let's go in. Let's see what we're gonna be uh, facing here. All right, so the minigame starting 20 seconds. And, uh, bro, the amount of people have is crazy. Like, the gear some people have is crazy nice. Look at this guy here, for example. The I don't know who out of these three guys it is. But, bro, there's some really sick-ass gears people have here. Shout out to everybody. So, we are in. There is a bunch of mechanics which I've never done before. So, <clears throat> well... Hopefully, we're not gonna plank too often. We can die up to twice. After two times, we will not be able to get a loot. That would be a shame. He has some mechanics as well, apparently. So hopefully, we will manage to do them properly. So I was told there is one fire wall mechanic. So I assume we have to sort of like dodge it. And the other mechanic is um, where there's a color skull on top of your hand and you have to run at the same color pillar. Okay, well, whatever that means. All right, here's the firewall mechanic. Oh my God, I just ran into it, dude. 
And I just ran into it and we died. Oh my fucking god, dude. So, uh, we just went back in. And I think we... I think we're we not supposed to die one time, otherwise we get fucked really bad. And bro, what, what the fuck, dude? I just died again, dude. Oh my goodness, bro, that mechanic is crazy. Okay, I think we're not getting a loot, though. That's sad. Alright, I'm in again. I'm not really sure if... Uh, I'm not really sure if we'll be able to get a drop or not, because we died twice. Because we fucking suck. But I, I really hope we will. So let's see. Alright, the Faceless King is dead. Let's see, do we get a drop? And we did not. Ever. Actually, we did. Oh my god, that's pretty nice. Let's take all of that. That's uh, what's the fuck is that? I don't know. Take all. Okay, nice. We got Archim's rope skirt and we got five minute cash. Yay. So let's go. Round number two. We got another faceless kill to go. And uh, let's see. Let's see how that one goes, boys. So there's the fire animation again. Let's go ahead and not fuck it up this time. Right, I can only fuck it up though. I've just realized because I have to run. Come on. I think we should- No, the fucking- Wait, did I survive? I actually survived, okay. I, I'm actually not supposed to have egg rot on. If I don't have egg on, I should be right. There we go. No, actually not. What the fuck, dude? Come on. Yes, there we go. Finally, I managed to pass one at least. Alright, another one is coming. Let's do this. So, if you have ult to retelly off, it shouldn't be too hard, honestly. Where is the fucking- Okay, there it is, one. There we go. Why are you moving in there? Why are you moving in there, buddy? Okay, good job. Oh god, I have to run all the way then. Oh, I'm gonna die. Am I gonna die? Oh god, I'm gonna burn, I'm gonna burn, I'm gonna burn alive, I'm gonna burn alive. No, I'm not. Yes, I survived, let's go, let's go. Alrighty, we did not plan, come on, in before we get our fucking best slot item here. We'll check out the drop tables in a second as well. Yes, sir, okay, here we go. We're gonna get a lovely lootation. Come on, game. What's that? We got an axe. Okay, let's go and take it all. Twilight Key 5, I got a target on, what the fuck dude? So if you got collection logs, check out the Faceless King. We can see the drop is dropping, bro. Faceless pieces, Twilight Wand. Twilight Key 5, no fucking way, someone got this one. Oh my god, the boots as well, Matty just got the boots. Twilight Key 5 as well, so we have three unique ones. And as you can see, wow, some insane items you guys can actually get from there. Alright, we're going back to, uh, to the Grind Snow on the Celestial Cave. Uh, we are 47 minutes in. Well, we got more than half the guy. And i just getting Dragon Plate Legs. Oh my god. We're just not lucky, dude, on these ones. I swear to you, if we don't get the boat this episode, we'll probably go ahead and grab something else for the next one. But we've just got another 370 drop either right there. Which is literally useless to us. Which also duplicate. And um, yeah, let me show you really quick the drop table. So as you can see, the legs are 1 in 320, 2.7%. Well, the bow is 22 and I've got two fucking lags already. Sad life. Okay, I got a battle pass completion here. Didn't even know that we're doing something like that. Very interesting, actually. Let's go and check out the, the battle pass. So I've just claimed some rewards as well here, apparently. So the next one is going to be some enchanted keys. Uh, four in total, actually. So we might actually want to go ahead and grind another level of these bad boys. Holy shit, we got the bow. Let's go. Oh my, I just li literally, I literally left AFK. To go and grab a tissue and I got the fucking drop, dude. No fucking way. 332kc. Oh my freaking lord. We got it. Nice fucking shit, dude. Oh my god. I can't believe it. We finally... So, exactly one hour in and we got the buy. So, I'm really happy about this. 330kc. Now, we need to get all the other requirements. We can actually go ahead and try and forge it. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you what the next part of this video is going to contain. So, as you can see here, you need a crafting for 70 to cut the elemental chucks. You might be, what the fuck is elemental chuck? Well, we got this from the lovely uh, star. Fallen star slash mining thing, whatever. And uh, we got 10 out of these. And to go ahead and win the next challenge, we need to go ahead and get the true feather foe. There we go. To do that, we need the elemental dust, which requires 70... Uh, crafting to get the bad boys from the chunks into the dust. 25 mil cash would be actually do, and we need also the bow. So, we only need to get 70 crafting somehow. I'm not 100% sure how we'll do that yet, but uh, we gotta find a way. Let's go. Alright, there we go. From the achievement shop, we've just bought ourselves the lovely gemstone hatchet. Thank the lord we could actually purchase it. 10,000 in total. So, that is very, very nice. And now we will be able to go ahead and go to... The Opal Jam Tree south of home. I have no idea. Just someone told me in the stream. So let's find it out. All right. We found it. It's southeast right there. We can actually hatch it now. 
That's what I mean by like have it, the, the server being so fucking unique. Oh, so we need 71 in what we can to be able to use it. So we're 66 right now. So we need to grab another five levels. Let's go. 71. What coming in? Coming in. Very nice. That means that we can go ahead and get the lovely tree catched slash farm. All right, it actually works. Holy fucking shit, dude. Uncut opals right there. So the only question now, can we go ahead and cut them? We can. Oh lord, okay. So, we're gonna go all the way for 70 crafting. This will take quite a bit of time since we don't get too many XP from the opals. But, um, yeah. Gonna be very, very nice. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and try and grind 70 crafting. Let's go. Time, by the way, is saying 1 hour and 17 minutes. So, we got 43 minutes to go. So, the next location we're gonna go, we just hit 43 crafting, uh, is the lovely Ruby Jam, which is located in the Tumanit Layar right there. So, that's the next one we're going to be farming. And uh, this bad boy should be giving us a rubies. And, um, yeah, hopefully. Oh, look at that. Avocado just got himself a dark celestial skin. He was grinding with me as well. The celestial cave before. Bro, I'm not getting any though. F in the chat. Alright, let's see how much XP we're going to get for one of these bad boys right here. Though. Oh, sad. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Please, more than ah 1.6k. Uh, I don't know. We can double click it though into Ruby things as well. That's gonna give us No, we can't do that. We need 63 flash. But we can actually click on it and craft into a Ruby necklace. That's very P actually. So we're gonna get 3k per jam. That's not bad at all, honestly. So this shouldn't take too long to get to 70. So we need another well 700,000 XP. Let's go. So since the uh, since it was pretty slow for the rubies, we've actually decided to go ahead and uh, do the emerald one right here. Yeah, this is going much quicker. It's obviously a little bit less XP, but so much quicker farming them. And yeah, we'll definitely go all the way uh, on the emerald jam tree. And um, yeah, let's go for 70 crafting. Alrighty guys, so we hit 71 crafting, fantastic. And that means we can go ahead and do that bad boy right now. I don't want to do the forge this episode though. I want to keep you guys a little bit, uh, well, get you a little bit excited for the next episode. The timer is about to run out as well anyway in two minutes. And um, yeah, super excited we got the post, super excited we got all the requirements. Next episode is going to be absolutely beautiful. Again, on Monday I'm going to be showcasing the brand new update and I'm going to be super, super hyped for that one as well. But before we wrap up the episode, I would like to go ahead and get all these elemental chucks here into these lovely dust. And now, next episode we're going to start a right off the episode by trying to titan forge that one. And maybe we get lucky and get this one successful. If you guys want to check out the Xara with currently 110 playable online, definitely make sure to check out the description down below. Don't forget to sign up for the giveaway. Like the video, comment, and give me a moment, and be subscribed to my channel. I'll see you guys around. Thanks so much for tuning in. Love you all. Have a good one and peace out.